up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, well hopefully, we'll be starting the car. I mean, dash is on the roof, standard shit, no windscreen, no driver's seat, yeah, pedal box is in. I mean, there's some A-N lines going in there and everywhere. My downpipe is an uppipe now. Everything's about bodged together, but we're gonna try start it and sort of try get somewhere. But yeah, let's do it. So, bit of an update since last time. I uh, managed to get a interior wiring loom and the arch loom to go all the way through. Got fuse box over there, all the way around here. Connected into my wiring specialties loom and everything. This is just uh, the old stereo stuff. I'm not having a stereo so that. I'm just gonna cable tie up out of the way. Um, got a catch can. I've got all the boost lines wired in to the wastegate into my electronic boost controller. Um, like I said, I've been using these push fittings. Uh, I've got one in the turbo, turbo feed. I've got a T into there um, and got them both down into the wastegate down there. So got a catch cam with some main lines. Basically I've made, uh, this is just the kit and I used all the line because these fittings are gonna be way too close to my downpipe when, uh, when that fits. At the moment it's up because it hits the uh, manifold going down there. So if I flip it 180, it's gonna hit the manifold. So it needs to be extended out back and then go down to fit actually down there. But obviously if that gets extended, these fittings are gonna hit the downpipe. So I've got some shorter um, 45 degree fittings. So it literally like goes out there. Um, so all this is shorter. Um, so yeah, so I need to put those on, which is why I've left the cables long just for now, just to start it. Um, and then we'll go from there so to start it like i said i've got the uh interior wiring loom arch loom everything down to the fuse box i need to get a fuse box cover i've got all the battery connections uh in here um ready to go um that is an iot sensor but i need to get uh the bung welded onto there so um when i send the car to get a custom exhaust done the dude's gonna weld on the iot bung for me as well all right, so a few of the lads are here to help. We've basically got the car ready. We're going to try start it now. Um, put fuel in it, put oil in it. Uh, we've got a battery, it doesn't fit, but we've just sort of got some makeshift sort of uh, cables ready to go. And we're going to try start it. Got to prime it with oil. We've pulled a fuel pump plug. Uh, going to prime with oil, uh, then give it a go. Turbo noise. <laughs> it's the only turbo noise you'll get. Yeah. Right then guys, it's been a good few weeks since I last tried to start it. Uh, at the end of the day, I don't have the, a lot of time to work on it. I'm self-employed and I do a lot of contracts working away. But here we are again, trying again. Um, basically, we've had problems with power to the ignition. We've just swapped over a few cables. Um, we've had, there's no power to the fuel pump. Um, there's no power to the injectors. So I think it was a uh, fuel pump relay, um, the whole fuel system, EC, it's called an ECCS relay, uh, that was bad, so none of the fuel system was getting power. Um, we had the callbacks weren't getting power, which turns out that because um, it's a Series 1 RB25, it has a separate ignition, uh, ignited chip they call it. Um, so there's different ones for an RB20, RB25. So basically I got this one which I thought was for an RB25, turns out it's an RB20, I've never seen one before but oh well we live and learn. But basically you see on the pinouts it says 
can't show you, it's not zooming, but basically it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the seventh pins the earth for the RB20. Whereas the RB25 one, it goes one, two, three, center pins the earth, and then four, five, six. Um, so basically the earth and the signal wires for the coils were just the wrong way around. It wasn't working, it blown alone a fuses. We live and learn, but there we go. I've got the, the right igniter chip now with the right pin out. Um, so that sorted the uh, coil pack issues and the fuel issues. I've gone through, replaced all the fuses and relays. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it should start. If it doesn't, I have no bloody idea why. Um, could be a wrong cast system. Uh, with the RB25s, I know that if the cast is out just a little bit, it will not start. Um, so I don't know. If it doesn't start, I'm gonna have to call someone. <laughs> And guys didn't start again that time um basically i must have a grinding problem because it keeps blowing a fuse um that's just gone um it's on the interior uh fuse box down by the kick panel yeah it's uh the one up in there um tried a 15 and a 20 but it keeps blowing so i must have an earthen problem somewhere all right so it turns out that that fuse is for the air con so technically we don't need it it's blowing i mean i've looked around all the earths are good checked all the earths they're all right but the fuse is for the air con so i'm just going to pull it at the moment um there's still no power to the fuel pump for some reason um i'm going through checking out all the relays uh the, the relays aren't ticking so i don't know if they're bad relays or what i've been i've got a voltmeter on the connections into the relays um on the EGI one, it seems to be all good, 12 volts on the ones it's meant to. But on the EGI pump connection ones, for some reason there's seven volts on all of the four connectors. So there's something wrong there. I've got to chase that down. All right then guys, I think I've traced it down to the CAS, so I need to get a new CAS uh, sensor for it. But um, stay tuned for the next videos coming up. I've got some seats on order. I've got a new windscreen come in. Uh, I've sent the dash off to get um, redone. It had loads of holes in from like, old gauges and stuff stuck to it. So that's also getting coated um, in Alcantara. With the seats and all that and the dash and the windscreen, that will be all the interior done. I'll have to make up a switch panel. Um, I also, to try to fix that ground problem, I was like, I'll just take everything out. Um, I've moved all the uh, uh, fuse boxes, all the electrics inside the car now. Um, and with having no AC, basically, I can just tuck it all up under the dash quite nicely. Um, so yeah, that's all to come in the next video. And then hopefully if I get the cast sensor sorted, we can uh, get it started next video. Yeah. Stay tuned, subscribe, like, and comment.